Hello and welcome to Survivor with Jay, Jack, and Colleen. My name is Jay. My name is Colleen. It looked like a hole. And welcome <laughs> to the show. How's it going, everyone? It's going. Cool. What a crazy episode. I went up and down. I laughed. I bit my nails. I left <laughs> some more. I was relieved by the end. You I know. thought it was kind of boring. Really? Really? Yeah, oh my god, I, was, I delight. I, I just, I don't, I just, I don't know. I found this episode delightful. Twitter that hates everything. Twitter found this episode delightful. Yeah, I just, I, I don't, I, I don't know. If they're finding idols again. I don't know. I we just... had an entire sequence with Tony's ladder that was yeah, ridiculous that was hilarious. and hilarious. That, but he didn't fall, so it kind of was like, eh. Man, you're it, okay, it's, it's, so it's, Jack it's meant is... to it's it's meant to go this way. <laughs> Jack is bringing some old man energy to yeah. the show tonight. <laughs> like seriously, good well, Lord. Look, uh, let's let's just be honest. Last first week, I get uh, Natalie gets voted off. My final three pick and my winner's pick gets voted off today. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, how does okay. it affect Jack directly? That's what that's all that right. Matters that's right. Um, how could, how could you be? How could you win and be such a bad player? I, she I'm, did, I'm she at you, blew Danny. up her whole I'm game. I'm looking at you. Like seriously, it would like, have been with the fuse. Was like she was not. She was not even on the radar to be to be uh, taken out. Like let's go after poverty. Thinking? No, that's a good idea. <laughs> what was she thinking? Oh, I know. I don't. And Denise, oh, and this, so now and Denise, I, Denise I, let me give half my idol to to poverty. Like that and was also like, no. That's a stupid idea. <laughs> <laughs> There was nobody there for Kim to be like, why are you doing this? Yes. <laughs> yes. This is a bad idea. Um, yeah, I guess it had some good points. I just was like, oh, God. Uh, I, oh, I loved it. I loved I, it. I, I enjoyed it as well. And if anybody's worried about the sound of my voice, I fought a, a nasty cold. Yeah, Jay's been really sick. He actually and, has been uh, out of work since last Thursday <laughs> afternoon. In yeah, the Budweiser virus. Off anyway, and th- Monday we were off, so really I've only missed like two That's... days. From but anyway, uh, you look yeah. like you look like crap. If that makes you feel better, uh, it doesn't. It actually hurts, just like uh, my lungs hurt right now. But I've got a, a, an inhaler with some steroids. Like I am feeling great right now. Mm. Uh, yeah, but... you, so you're taking steroids? Are you? Are you? Are you? Uh, Which I a trash can him... to get the count. Yeah, I'm ready to join the Astros. Yeah, <laughs> um, gonna steal some signs. I, well, uh, according to, according to the commissioner of baseball, it. it's just a All piece right. of metal. Trophy. <laughs> back to back to Survivor. But uh, in a game in which you're supposed to lie, cheat, and steal, um, yeah, I think Rob is still playing a damn good game. I just, but the the puzzle, I was just like, I kept telling Colin, I was like, no, he's got this. It's, it can be. He can be thirty minutes behind. He's gonna he's gonna get it. And then that first section is like, look at he caught up already. And then the middle section just like completely blew it. Well, he he I you took the problem with what he his plan was. He took the pressure off them. Yeah, they could yeah. they could just relax and put Sandra and um, was it Sophie? Sophia? Sophie. Yeah. So, Sophie. They they were able to put the there was no pressure on them. Yeah. Whereas Rob, I I see what he was trying to do, but you had just caught up. Yeah, I, I that was one of Rob's worst moments on Survivor. Honestly, I think he was just so Ever. shook from like Amber going home that I think we saw that Rob is actually a human being. But I think he had to have known. Like he knew he got the token, so yeah, he knew I know. It was you coming. know how you know, you know, you know, and then you just really hope that yeah. there's that. Until but it's but he ha- but he ha- he didn't he didn't lash out. He just said, "Yeah, it's it, it's her, no." It's and part they kept the game. moving on to uh, Sandra too, and I was like, "Ooh, is it going to be juicy?" But it wasn't. <laughs> Because he, well, he's Sandra smart, knows. he's a smart player. Like bring the target on her back or whatever. But yeah. I love how Rob's like, "Yeah, Sandra had all this time with her. I feel like I'm really tight with her." And then Sandra's like, "Rob, you're dead to me. I'm gonna cut your throat." <laughs> <laughs> I do like how Ethan went up and goes, "Dude, you suck today." Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but here's Rob, who's a threat. Had his worst. Let's let's. I can't think of a worst 
performance he ever had in Survivor. His all the times he's been on it. Yeah. And not a vote. Not even not even not he was vote. not again. He's not even on the radar. Yeah. And it's to the point where like even Adam knows like I'm not going after Rob because he's like a godfather. I'm not even that's just too dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's it's it's, it's going to happen because I he's I, it's crazy. I can't believe he's still in the game. Yeah, There's a, a, yeah, he has a magic. Then whatever it is, he has a magic. I, well, I don't. Also... I don't think he's going to win. I don't think he's going to win. It would be silly if he made it to the merge. It'd be I, it really would, silly. I cannot, like, There's it, no way he makes it to the merge. Listen, if he makes it to the merge. I'm going to need everybody to he- he- replay the Jeremy clip. These guys are so dumb over and over again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, you know, but it's the thing is like Ben and, and Colleen, can you can you read the tweet about Ben? Just because I thought it was so perfect uh, about Ben's gameplay this season. Um, I don't oh. know if you have it cocked and loaded or if you just remembered it off the top of your head. Um, but, I don't yeah. have it locked and loaded, but it was like. Um, well, don't, don't guess okay. it. Try and find it real quick. Okay. And we'll just keep talking. But. Uh, Ben, <laughs> what the hell's going on? He's gonna be he's gonna be the uh, idol. Uh, but again, that's I'm gonna help people find back. idols. Yeah, I'm gonna help you find idols, and it's like, okay, then why am I gonna keep you around? Like, what what are you doing? What are, what well, he didn't. Job? He's trying to work on his social game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still trying to find it. But then, again, Danny, like she just blew it this episode just because. And like, it kind of came out of nowhere, right? Like, yeah, and oh, then Ethan's like, um, "Ixnay no, not, on the old school old alliance." School. Say, she's like, "Well, yeah," and I was like, "What?" Because even Ben figured it out. <laughs> Wait a second, <laughs> old school, new school. When was I on? I just she just panicked. I but just... you know, I can see, I can see how excuse me how it could happen for her, and that she hasn't played in so long. And there's probably a lot of like, and you're out there. And I think just the pressure kind of overtook her, um, clearly. Uh, Why didn't she just walk up to the three of them and say, hey, what's, are, are we still doing the yeah. old old school alliance? But no, she goes, she goes crazy. And she, you know, like you said, she outed the alliance. <laughs> and then she says, I will go after Parberty. I'm like going, or par. I, I, I get, and, go ahead, Jack, I'm sorry. I'm just saying that that was that was okay. You you might as well say you're going after Rob again. Kind of, but my question here is: Is the new school still coming out ahead here? Because it was an old school player that's gone, and while the Rob Poverty Ethan kind of thing is really strong, that's only three to all the other people. And you know, Jeremy and Michelle are kind of linked, and then Adam, Ben, and and Denise, Denise are linked. So. Out of that, does Rob still have a good enough relationship with Jeremy? And- but but then why does Danny go home and not Rob <laughs> or Poverty? If you have, so, it, I think they're oh, saying I- it's the easy vote. I think they just went with the easy vote because she kind of like blew it up. So why keep her around? She did. I, yeah, I I get that, but it's like, and I get the point that you're trying to make as well. And I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm still trying to find that Ben tweet, which is why I've been a little more quiet. But it's I, like I get... an episode of The Office where uh, uh, Michael asks, um, uh, what's her name, to get that author to sign a book. Um, and she goes and she just doesn't get it. What? <laughs> what's, uh, what's, the, what's Bob Vance's wife's name? I'm blanking on her name. Oh, uh, Phyllis. Uh, Phyllis. Phyllis. When she goes to the author and she, she, like, she couldn't get the author's uh, signature. Yeah. And she's trying really hard. Colleen right now is really trying to find the tweet. But basically it was, you know, for uh, someone that's gameplay was idle. I'm just really disappointed, Colleen. That you I know, I can't. Tweet. It was like, uh, oh. I, th- I uh, thought you'd nope, save it. Yeah. So what the, essentially what it was was like maybe Ben should go back to finding idols because talking isn't working out so well for him right now. <laughs> <laughs> It was really funny. It's not wrong. But he but he's still there. I mean, I You know, I do en- I really enjoy watching Ben this season. Did you see where he was doing the random dance with himself <laughs> around the fire and I don't know. My my feet kept freezing, so I I kept going, what's going on? What's going on? I just, what's going on? And I know Jack you didn't like this episode because your pr- picks are like blowing up and I'm getting terrible any tallies for it. But to Colleen's point, I, like, I I'm just going to go to looking for idols. With having this many good like characters on like there's just good moments like the tony the tony moment 
the with dumping the, the bags out at tribal council. Yeah, yeah <laughs> like. And, that has, was and awesome. kudos to Denise for hiding hers. Yeah, yeah. she did a great job. I, I'm surprised they didn't pick up on it though, because but it was it was just a cool a cool moment where you just have these best of the best players, and you're just going to get awesome moments like that we got in this episode with the bag. Do you uh, see Jeremy know. going swinging over to Boston and Rob and, and Parv and the rest? I think so, just because. I, I, who knows? It's like what what the devil you know versus the devil you don't. Like Ben is such a wild card, and that he's kind of in the Adam Denise camp, or is Ben just on his own on his own island? And then it's well, Adam doesn't want to work with Ben. But what I thought was interesting was that vote for Parv was that Adam voting for Parv because Jeremy kind of looked at Adam like, "What was that you?" Even though we all thought we we're doing the other thing. So I thought yes. that was an interesting little and moment we didn't, in the episode. We didn't get to see who did the votes, right? Not really, no. No, yeah. I didn't see it, no. Um, I kind of was figuring it was going to be Danny or a surprise Rob. I, I don't know why. I, just because Parvati gave that confessional in the in the voting booth where she said, I hope that this is the right choice. So I was like, oh, she's turning on someone. Who she well, why would Adam vote for Parvati? Well, they wanted to change up the game, remember? So was you think Adam maybe was in on it with um, Michelle and Jeremy who wanted to take out Parvati? Well, remember, I think he had the conversation with Michelle and Parvati, uh, Michelle and Jeremy about going for Well, how, how many votes did Parv get? Just one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't see Adam being the guy to just throw away a vote like that. Too smart of a player. I, I mean, know. Could have so been, but... That's why I'd love to see those votes, and the prop. I, I would guess, Colleen, and you, you're the more attuned uh, survivor person to like social, but um, they'll post it on their Twitter, maybe, or the YouTube page, or something like that. Maybe the, the actual votes this week. Yeah. Why? Why are you giggling? I'm just I'm scrolling through Survivor Twitters, and it's just making me laugh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. What made you laugh? Share Nothing. it with the whole class. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> anyway, you have gum for everybody? Yeah. I do not. I'm sorry. And I just swallowed it. And I'm not passing the note either. And you couldn't find the hole? I couldn't find the hole. <laughs> oh, my God. That was so funny. I have Ben, and he just takes it, like, to the other side of the thing. He just takes it, like, it's so weird, Ben. That's a first, because I don't think I've ever seen someone who couldn't find their hole. <laughs> oh. On Survivor. That's what she said. Because originally I was, I was going with holy crap cakes. But once he said <laughs> it looked like a hole, that just had to be the... We also, yeah, not even uh, ladder claws. Can we just talk about uh, Tyson giving and, and Sophie giving commentary on Tony's ladder? Yeah. Which was amazing as well. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But I love the Ed Ewell who came with a pretty smart way of getting that fruit down without like risking life and limb. Yeah. And then Tony just makes this... Very rickety ladder uh, to go. You up. think he could have done a better job with the ladder? Could have taken more time to tie. You know, couldn't you just put a hole through the? You know, find some way to put a hole through the bamboo and mm-hmm. tie it up a little better. I would think yeah. so. I, I mean, I'm not going to fall it twenty feet, me- break my leg, and, and lose my chance to win two million dollars because of some ladder. Oh, it's all in good fun, and it's Tony. Clearly, yeah. he is. Well, it's all in good fun until you fall totally and break your different. leg. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, let's talk a little bit about the episode in, in more detail. Do we think that Danny was the right person to vote out? I think so. I think it was the easy one. and It was and definitely the, the right easy one. one. I don't think it's the right one, but I think it's the easy one. I think it's the right one in the sense that she was unreliable, right? She was, like, turning and changing, trying to change the plan. It, 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 like, it's just You can't play with a player like that, so why keep her around? You could still get off Rob. You still have plenty of time to get off Rob and Parvati. That's what that's what everyone's going to be saying. But what's going to happen? I I know it's risky, but like how how do you keep what do you, you can't play with Danny? Like what what who's going to align with her? Well, the problem, but she's she's almost like Michelle at this point. No, oh, Michelle no, because Michelle like, be knew like, yeah. and not like get, m- yeah. rustle any feathers. Michelle had a social <laughs> game. <laughs> rustle feathers. Like. There, there, she's it, it, you can't you can't play with her. Yeah, she blew up her own game. Yeah, um, and you know Guatemala. She, she was terrible. Yeah, 
And, you know, it's kind of, it kind of sucks that it was like another woman that went home. But I feel like in this case, it was actually the right choice because she just wasn't playing well. And she just imploded. Yeah. Uh, so what do you think about Kim giving her half of the, the other half of the idol to Sophie? Well, Sophie didn't think it was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get why she did it because she was not in that any alliance. alliance. I think she's trying to buy her way into it. Um, kudos to Sophie being like, "Cool, bro. I'm not gonna, not gonna, you know." I'm so proud. You gave it to out. the. She gave it to the devil. Yeah. Um, so I, I think Kim's kind of just. She's that she's it's the same. It's interesting to see the difference between this tribe and the other one where these are she's clearly one of the best players of all time. So and they know it and they know it. So they're not going to trust her. That's on this tribe. Yeah. And in the other tribe where you have arguably the two best players of all time and no, nobody's really gunning for them yet. Um, I just shows the different dynamics between the two tribes for sure. I mean, really, I ever it, so I I think Jeremy's one of the best of all time, and I think so. Yeah, it's I it, that's what's the beauty of the season is that everybody's obviously a good player. That's why I say Jer- does Jeremy align himself with Boston Rob because he likes Jeremy's big with the shields. Well, who's a bigger shield than Boston Rob? Well, I think that's what one of the other time, but like you have to change it up a little bit. I think for Parvati, it makes sense to align with Rob because. That's that's they're the two biggest threats. Yeah. So they should stay together. They should stick together, which makes total sense. Um, because w- once Rob's gone, then it's poverty. Or once poverty's gone, then it's Rob. Right. So I, it makes perfect sense why they want each other at this stage in the game. Yeah. But for Jeremy, I don't know if that's the right play because he's, he's in that tribe. He's one, of, and and now that N- Natalie's gone, he's kind of uh, at it out of control or not in the driver's seat in this. So that's what I'm saying. Do you, do you is there a benefit to mind Rob? I think so. More well, who than, do you, who do you line yourself up with the remaining players? You got Michelle, Ben, Denise. Well, it seems like Adam. Michelle and, and, and Jeremy are together. It seems they're together. Who's that? Michelle Adam and, and Jeremy. Jer- Michelle and uh, Jeremy. Jeremy. Together. Yes. So Michelle and Jeremy are playing. T- well, at least we saw tonight yeah, that they were from tonight. That's what it seems like. And then you have Adam and Denise are together and kind of Ben's in their orbit. I think and Ben, then, they're just using him. I uh, love I really like Ben. I just want to say that again. She, I mean, uh, Denise didn't even think about giving it to Ben. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she didn't even think. I mean, I know, what was he in the conversation? Know, I'm glad he didn't ask me for it. I'm like, you know, you, f- you found it because Ben, yeah. but you don't even offer it to him. So, Ben, I don't enough. care. <laughs> uh okay so do we think ben's got to be in it for the long haul right well but uh, so it's, it, that's where it's an interesting time because you, have, kind of you in- have you have jeremy uh michelle you have adam denise you have the trifecta of poverty ethan and rob and then you yeah. have ben kind of in that other orbit so it would make sense from a numbers perspective for some people to go after the Jeremy Michelle collective. Yeah. For either of those kind of trifectas. But it's early. Yeah, I, but you know, Rob said he did. He doesn't trust Ben, though. I know. So that's where I would think if I was Rob, I would try to get enlist Jeremy and Michelle. Because Jeremy's yeah. loyal to, up until a certain point. I mean, he, if, if he aligns himself with you, he's he'll stay with you. Until he doesn't need you, and that's yeah. into the merge. Where Ben, I don't know what yeah, Ben's going to do. Ben, yeah, I could see Ben being the final three no vote person. Man, if he somehow makes it to the end, good for him. Good for him. <laughs> I don't know because um, he's kind of like I feel like what you're the point that you're making about Danny Jack, where you know you could probably take her to the end because nobody's going to vote for her. I feel like. That's the case I'm trying to make for Ben, except Ben probably eh, he'll probably blow up his own game too. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 wouldn't it suck that you're return you're a returning winning player? You've won. And most of these people a lot of these people are only on there once. So say you're you're you go to the final three and you don't get a vote. I think that would suck. 
you're yeah. still getting uh, a lot of money. No, I, 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 st- money. I get that, but to me, it's like okay, I'm a returning player. I made it to final three. I, I I I knocked out. I was ahead of 17 other players, and I don't get a vote. Does that I mean? Doesn't matter. I got. I, are the, all the prizes double? So it's like second place. It's not. It's not about prize. It's about. It's matter about. Okay, I beat. I'm still third. I was better than 17 players, and I don't. I don't get a vote. <laughs> You're still third. I'd take I'd, it. I'd, yeah. I'd be ticked. I'd be okay, mad. Okay, so anyway, back to the actual yeah. episode. Uh, I was a cranky upset. old man. I'm kind Angry. of worried that Kim is going to be in trouble because we saw oh, this yeah. thing from Sophie. So it's either Kim is going to go. Kim's out. going. Pretty Out quickly, She's or pre-merge. maybe she can't. We were seeing like this Kim Redemption story that she can turn the tables or something. I don't. I don't think they let her. Sandra's not gonna let her do it. No. Yeah. Well, Sandra. She had. She, I mean, she. The one person she tried to bring into into the fold <laughs> said, "Ah, that was a mistake." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. But I, I, I don't count Kim out just yet. Can I just say, though, I that, truly don't. that I do like that the idols they did find were, like, split up idols, so it's not, yeah. it's not as easy. If you're going to give an idol, at least it's not a, uh, you have to, it's there's some strategy idol. behind it. Let's talk about the tokens and and, and vis-a-vis uh, Extinction Island, Island, Edge of Extinction. So we have Natalie and Amber now on Extinction Island. And there's another advantage for them to find. Um, Poor Amber did not find it. And Natalie found it. And she gave it to Jeremy. Um, Poor Amber, by the way. Poor Amber. Like, the old school versus new school mentality was super on display. (laughs) Edge of extinction. Yes. I... I love, I loved Natalie's, Jeremy's relationship, their first season together, and then Natalie winning, and Jeremy then winning his kind of second season. So it's kind of neat to have a different version of that kind of dynamic with Natalie kind of giving this advantage to Jeremy here in this episode. Um, what what are your thoughts on it, Jack? You're kind of being a little bit of a, a bitter, bitter Jay here uh, with some of the <laughs> idol finds. But what, what's your oh, thoughts on the Natalie giving this advantage to I think Jerry? I think Natalie's Natalie's playing Natalie's a great player. She is. And she, and she probably got voted out because of the Jeremy Natalie threat, but yeah. I think she's a better player than Jeremy. And I think that's why she got voted out. Um this But she's she's playing a great game. I mean she got lucky. She went to get the water the and there water, it was. Yeah. yeah. But she gave it to Jeremy so she got another she got another token. So she's getting She's getting she's getting an advantage, whatever the, however, whenever they come back in the game. So far, she's, and you have so you got Amber, and now Danny, who doesn't seem to be yeah, in the zone at all. So uh, Natalie's, Natalie's so, in a, has, Natalie on. really has no competition on the Edge of Extinction right now. Yeah, I think she, I think Natalie's going to get back in the as of now. Natalie gets back in the game because uh, and maybe there's some type of element where. She can buy advantages to that challenge to get back in the game with however many tokens. She could end up with like twenty tokens by that point. Like, right. It'll be very interesting to see how that plays out. But there is something to that to your point, Jack, where she's there now with two old school players. Um, she's played it the most recently. She's a badass player, like both from the outwit perspective, the outlast perspective, and the outplay perspective. Like she also played. Mode. She also played Amazing Race at least twice. Um, yeah, that's so she, yeah. So she's 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 good at strategy, good at you know, yeah. Challenge. So and she in, there was strategy. You know, she even said she was okay. I have to give this to someone who has a token. Yep. It doesn't do me any good. I give it to someone who doesn't have a token. So she yep. gave it to Jeremy. Yep. Yep. Well, we have and again, again, someone has to buy it. Also, they have they have to want it. Well, and that's my question: is we haven't seen the tokens come into play yet with anything that's not. Edge of Extinction related, right? No, like they got the list. There's things they can do, like buying comfort, and eventually you can buy advantages at four tokens um, to like uh, challenges or immunity idols or something like that. Um, but yeah, we, we have not seen anything outside of the Edge of Extinction gameplay yet with the tokens. Okay. okay. Shouldn't, it, shouldn't it be more of a, a, a... I mean, it's going to take forever to get four tokens at this pace, right? Well, half, some of them are halfway there. Yeah, and I, I feel like tokens are kind of going to kick in the high gear at merge in the merge section of the game. 
<laughs> so okay. early on. Yeah, the more um, people that get to Edge of Extinction, I'm sure, also you, will be You definitely want to hold on to your tokens. tokens, but I think Natalie is right. Like, again, she's odds on favor to get back in. Right? Yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't count Kim out if she gets in there because Kim, didn't she uh, tie the record for most individual immunity wins? She did. Did she? I'm pretty sure. With, um... Or she had the streak for most wins in the row. She definitely had some kind of. With Kelly? Is Kelly still the leader with that, or did somebody beat her? I think but Kim that, may but, have but Natalie him. already has a head start. That's the. That's, the, uh... that's true. But the, also, the person that has the best chance of getting back in is one of the last people to leave the game because they haven't. They've had more of the quote unquote comforts and whatever rewards that they've won or whatever. They haven't been starving out there on Edge of Extinction either. Yeah. So, anyways. I, I guess we'll see. Um, I'm trying to think what else happened this episode. Uh, I just love the ladder thing. I love the bag thing. That was so ridiculous. Yeah, Puzzle I think thing. I think we I think we hit upon. I think we there did. Was... It was just so much fun. It, like, I, I enjoyed really... the episode. What? I I enjoyed the episode as well. I know Jack didn't. Um, no, I'm start. I'm starting to like it now. I'm, I'm I'm over the. I'm over my Danny playing so terrible. Less bitter right now. I I was worried about her last week. I said, okay, she saved herself. She's. Yeah. But then I was like, going, what are you doing? Oh yeah. my yeah. god. Yeah. Well, and I think that we're gonna get a lot more moments like the bag dumping out, and even the latter moment because these are people that know what makes good TV. Rob knew that dumping the bag is out and calling, you know, totally reading Ben was God. going to, you know, be a great moment that people loved at home. And I guarantee that Tony was like, okay, I can't run around like a maniac trying to find an idol in front of everybody. So let me do something else to like, let this energy out. That's still going to be great TV. Right. So he has to weigh him. He has to anchor himself down <laughs> yeah. with a 25 foot ladder. I love yeah, it. I and... loved it so much. All of it. And then I really like that. We're, we're hearing from Tyson, but not a lot because I think that means he's definitely going to make the merge. I have a very safe vibe from Tyson. Um, right now, Tyson's is so mellow. One of the one of the people I can't figure out though is Sophie. I think that she can either burn brightly pretty quickly, or she could go like final six or seven. I think she goes far because again, it's not even in the conversation. Good point. Well, you know, we haven't had to have more than one conversation at that tribe. Yeah. Because the last two, Amber wasn't a shock, yeah. and today and today, Danny wasn't a shock. So, unless really unless she thought, does something stupid, I really thought they were going after Rob. Like I gotta say, kudos, dude, because the internet was rooting for you to go home last week. I think, and at this week, people were you know kind of seemed that they were more given respect. Respect respect is due. So. Yeah. You have to. I mean, you have again. He's still it twice. They've gone to tribal. The fact that they've gone to and, tribal and he twice, hasn't got a vote, and yeah. he hasn't got a vote, and he's sitting there and, playing a game on a tree, and he blew the challenge. Yeah, and I, I last completely, week completely blew it, and his name didn't even come up. Not even once. And last week, Sandra's should have gone home first as well for her drive. Yeah, yeah. So kudos to all of them. Which I wonder how much of a help it was for both Sandra and Rob to be with all those new players last time because kind of seeing and probably getting 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 into the rhythm getting into the pace yeah how tribal's going like i wonder how much of an advantage that truly was for them because they were they had 36 days of a mind getting in that mindset and they were right. two weeks after that right into the game um so for i think that is we're not we haven't talked about that yet but i think that is an advantage for the two of them I, it's a huge that's a huge i didn't even think about that it's a huge advantage yeah because you look at danny danny has hasn't played for what 12 13 years yeah and it shows yep yeah but but ethan's playing a decent game and, but, oh and can we talk about ethan i really really feel i picked ethan as my winner pick right because i feel really great about that still uh, i think i did you picked i think Harvey. i picked ethan you didn't pick Ethan. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah. 
I have no regrets. Uh, but Jack gets to pick a new winner's pick tonight. So, or do I do I risk that she gets back in the game and wins it? <laughs> I, I have that option though, don't I? You, I you do have say, that option. I can just say let it roll. I it's would worth recommend 15, it's worth against 15 it. Points, I would right? as well. I, it is. You would still get the fifteen points, but I would recommend against it. Well, I'm, I'm, it's something I'll think you, about. You have time. You have time. Uh, all right. Well, that's what we thought about this episode. Now it's time to get into what you all thought about it. You all, everybody. Section. But before we do that, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Here we go. Listener feedback. All right. It's listener feedback time. Time to get into what you all thought about this episode. Colleen, what do we got? All right. So first week is first week. First email is from Mandy and it's titled Mandy. Week two. Since my email last week was so long. Yeah, it's kind of back this time, Mandy. Asterisk, it wasn't. Jay and Jack kept interrupting the queen. I don't believe that. Asterisk. I think think the queen was interrupting herself. No, I think that it was you guys. I'll keep this one short. why, Why was that email so long last week? It wasn't. You guys kept interrupting it. It just seemed anyway. like it went on and on. And on. And War and Peace wasn't that long. Yeah. Uh, anyway, she says, so go ahead, three... go ahead, because I, I don't want to go like last time, where it just, yeah. it just you know, twenty minutes later, you're still trying to read the email. Three women in a row. Ugh! I wish we got Recepia or Vesepia or Tina back over Danny. Concur. Oh, yeah. Why didn't we get Vesepia or Tina back? They may, not wanna, fun, uh, did, may not want to have done it. Not who want to have, they, they didn't want to do it. <laughs> I'm sure that this has been addressed out there on the internet somewhere. So I will – somebody Richard, remind me. I'm Rich, going to do some research over the week. Richard Hatch did Stephanie say wasn't. that him and Tina were – he mentioned Tina – and then he changed. And then he stopped. He had mentioned Tina again. And said that he was told at the last minute he wasn't going. Right. You know, I saw that Tina did a Rob has a podcast. Um, you know, discussion about last week's episode. So perhaps she talks about why she didn't return there. So I'll I'll do some investigate investigating. Because she's been on three times, twice, three times, three times. Twice. Yeah. Twice. Well, was she on All Stars? Oh yeah, you're right. So she was yes. on she's three times. Three times. She's blood versus water. Yeah. All stars right. and then Australia. Yeah. Okay. Um next email is from Christy. No, Victoria. I'm Victor- sorry. Victoria. I have these headphones on because I lost my earphones and I hear myself echoing in both ears and it's really freaking me out. Just just try to 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 ignore 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 or yeah, it it it. I am. Max Hedrum's in the audience. All right. Victoria says, Ugh, <laughs> take out Rob already. It's not hard, people. But I can see that he is such a physical value. Uh, but man, people, make a move. Not going to lie, he definitely makes the game interesting. And these last three episodes are Survivor Gold because of him. That tribal was bonkers and I loved it. So did we. <laughs> well, maybe not Jack. Uh, but Jay and I did. We love it. Uh, ben is definitely a hot take, but man, it is fun to watch. <laughs> I need the subtitle guide to get a mic in between the ears and mouths of everyone because I want to know what's being whispered. Yeah, I know. Did Ben have his teeth? They need bleached? to body mic them all before they they go. Do they body mic them all? They do body mic them all. They need what's to called lav mic. And yeah, I think they should have them lav mic'd. I agree. No, I believe they are because you can always see in challenges. So and then, stuff. why don't they let us hear those little side conversations? I don't know. Maybe they turn it off. I don't know. I'll turn it off there. because because the conversation was yeah, we're still voting for Danny. Yeah, That's probably. True. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. Uh, side note: Jeff was hilarious during that challenge. It didn't matter though because this tribe isn't going to take out any big threats anyways. At this point, I'm rooting for Jeremy and Denise, and maybe even Adam. I guess I'll just sit by and wait till the big threats have to take each other out. This is the exact same way Boston won. Uh, Boston Rob won the first time. Yeah. I have to say that I genuinely hope that we get a lot of the big threats deeper into the game yeah. this time around because it—they're all just such great, entertaining players. Yeah, that's what, that was kind of the disappointment of 
Was it Game Changers? Right, yeah, Game Changers. Yes, everybody that we wanted to see was gone pre-merge, and then it was just Brad Culpepper and Michaela. Yeah. I went Suri in that awful, awful vote out. Non-vote out. Vote out. Yeah, like Suri, actually, I voted out with, like, yeah, it was lame. And then Sarah won. Suri, one of the best players never to win? I think so. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay, well, that was it for feedback. All right. Well, well those, were that kinda, means those were kind of short emails. That was nice. It is time for our tally of the votes. So uh, I say I say we could skip this section. Just skip it. <coughs> well, spoiler alert. You both had Danny in your final three, and I heard her making the merge. So nobody got I had her in final three, that. too? You did. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's my Jack God. Curse. Well, she could still she could still make final three. Can Jack you're, won last season, so I think your I, only final three left is Michelle. Jesus, I quit. I'm done. Jay, you had Michelle in final three too. Wait, did I win last season? No, Jack I didn't, won. I won. I won the season before. Oh, no, you yeah. won. I won last season. I don't think I've ever had my final pick go out this early. It's pretty Usually, early. I, my final pick goes to the end. Yeah, this is this is, this bad. is like it's, this is like uh, like the world is ending type thing. I think people are like when they saw Danny went home, they were, oh my god, Jack's pick always uh, at least so goes yes. to the final three. Nobody got points on Danny, and we said, uh, Colleen, you said Rob was going home. It did not happen. Did not happen. I am in. Sh- I am shook that that did not happen. Uh, Jack, you said Tony. Did not happen. Well, if the try would have lost, it would have been and, Kim. <laughs> and I said Kim. I said Kim. Um, all right. It's now time to pick for who we think is going home next week. And I believe Jack is up first. Oh, thank God, because I have no idea, and I need to hear what you, you know, guys say first. You know, in, in Christie's Fantasy League, though, I'm in first, I was in first place. Oh, good for you. I was, was way out in front. I was way out. I had a really good first week. I don't think I had a good week today. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with. Uh, I'm going to go with. Uh, Tony. I'll stick with Tony. Oh. I mean, Sarah's not even coming to the. Con- I mean, I, I think it's going to be Tony. We didn't talk about cops arrest. The oh cops god. Arrest too. Oh. Can we just not do cops or us? I'm I I didn't like it the first time around. I don't like it this time around. Can we just not? But Tony like, mean, the, Tony means it this time. Just, no, let's just. <laughs> I don't care. No. Right. Uh, I'm gonna stick with Kim. I think this episode was just giving a little taste of her downfall, and if they lose next week, it's her. Colleen. Okay. Well, I. I think that you're right that it probably is going to be Kim as well. But I also, to Mandy's, for you, Mandy, I don't want to put bad juju out on a woman going home home again. Yep. So I, 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 oh God, this is tough. I feel like, I know, everybody be quiet. No, take your time. Okay. Um, I want to pick between. <laughs> Podcast is an audio format, so Fantastic. not doing anything. I want to be. Is, I want to pick between Ben. Si- silence is gold. Or Rob again. I Jim think Rome Rob. Really I well. think Jeremy's gonna. Oh God! Can you imagine it's Jeremy versus Rob, and like they just took each other out? That would be very tragic. I'll go with Rob again. I feel like he's always just a safe wow. standby. So we all stick with our same picks from. Last week, so will any of those play out? Well, I'm on I'm on fire, so I, I can't imagine. <laughs> and uh, we'll have to see how that plays uh, out. The only person though with tally points this season is Jack with one point. So, oh really? At, I I, at I forgot. The very I least, Jack, you can leave this episode knowing that you're in the lead. I could I could win, couldn't I? Two. With just one point, nobody else gets a point for the rest of the season. You would win. It'd be like I'd win by default. I, I'd be the Michelle of this season. <laughs> you <would>. you <laughs> yep. You got one point. I'm Michelle. I'm Michelle. 
<laughs> Michelle, if you're listening, we're just we're just giving you a hard time. Um, all right. Well, that I, I like is going to do it for this episode of Survivor Wait, with Wait, hold you. on. Hold on. I have to make another p- winner's pick. Decide if I want to go. Oh, that's oh, right. That's right. Just, I'm so used to Gee. not having to have another one this early on in the show. Exactly. Ever. Usually they're all out by I'm, our... I'm going to go. I'm going to I'm going to say I'm going Boston Rob. What? I can just pick one again. It doesn't matter. It's five <laughs> points no matter what, right? No, it's not. No, it's only one no. point if you lose it again. Oh, really? Oh, hold, yeah. hold on a second. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, screw it. I'm going Boston Rob. I got a one-point lead. I got a good bullpen. Sorry, Hi. Boston Rob. We thought you had a great game so far, but clearly <laughs> you'll be going out next week. Who was um, that guy thinking picking me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, okay. So our winner's picks. Colleen has Ethan. Jack has Rob, and I have Window. Window. Yeah, I, I, yeah Wendell's the town. You're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wendell, Wendell, they're spelled the same, though. I'll give you that. Wendell. They are spelled the same. <laughs> I always called it Wendell until my sisters moved to Wendell, so now I felt like I should know the correct pronunciation and not be a jerk about it. But it's messing up my appreciation of one of my favorite players of all time, Wendell, still in it to win it. That's it. It's like uh, I always call San Diego a whale's vagina. Okay, on that note, Nobody everybody. Nobody says that, except for Ron Burgundy. <laughs> Anyhow, that'll do it for this week's episode. <laughs> Give us a call at 385 We st- You know, you finished with whale's vagina, and you started it with Adam's whole joke. So I think we've come full circle. Yes, I did that- point that out. Sorry to the children well, n- listening. N- nice. Night nice. And good luck. N- and that wasn't even Email planned. Survivor <laughs> at JJ, uh, Survivor JJC at Gmail. Jay is looking at me now like, can I take her microphone off? Dot com. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Because no, unlike Survivor, <laughs> I don't vote out the women in this podcast. Can you stop smoking? I know. I've completely lost my voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, And Jay sounds so much better than he did. I told you, I told Jay days ago to go get the inhaler and the steroids because they helped him when he had pneumonia. And it should not have taken six days of being sick for you to go do that. I'm just saying. Uh, he's, he's, well, it was, it's in I, was, I was okay. But then when I dropped, I dropped the kids off at school this morning and I was like gassed and winded. I was like, I need to go to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I should at least, not at least you fine. realized that at a certain point you had to go to the doctor. Yes. I need to go to hospital. <laughs> He's um, laying, you're laying there on the ground. <laughs> I can't get up. <laughs> yeah. really, all I did was just take the kids, drive them to the Sir, sir like, do you not feel well? I think I need to go to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> all right. On that note, everybody. SurvivorJJC at gmail.com. Give us an email. The wanna longer, thank, the better for Jay and Jack's sake. I want to thank you for making the show possible. Our patrons, especially Tech from Tokyo, Eckhart Richter, Magnum Magnificent. Joanne with the plan, Drake the destroyer, and Ed the creepy mailman. Oh my god! It literally took all of your voice left. It was like you're what hearing your soul leave your body. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> my inhaler. <laughs> If you want to become a patron, a patron, go to patreon.com slash Jay and Jack and go to jayandjack.com and click on the become a patron link at the top right hand corner of the page. All right. That'll do it for this episode. We'll see you guys next time. Awesome. Oh, don't forget to shop Amazon. Oh, oh yeah. and if you'd like to shop through Amazon, go to our no Amazon affiliates that. link <laughs> at jayandjack.com slash Amazon. All lowercase letters. We'll see you all next week if I'm still alive. Hasta luego. And goodbye. Peace out. That's one way for me to win. <laughs>